perfect. What's a rational number? Hmm? Exactamente. It's a type of number used in mathematics. Rational In this episode, we will explain some definitions in mathematics. We will look at natural numbers or counting numbers, whole numbers, odd numbers, even numbers, integers, negative integers, rational numbers, and irrational numbers. So if you're not sure about one of these terms, you should pay special attention. <laughs> The first definition is natural numbers, which are also known as counting numbers. Natural numbers go from 1 to infinity. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and so on and so on, as far as you can count. Infinity? That's right. Natural numbers go on forever and ever. We can never know the largest number because we can never get to the end of it. It keeps growing and growing. The next definition on our list is whole numbers. Whole numbers include all the natural numbers plus one very important number, and that would be zero. The next definition is for odd numbers. Odd numbers are the whole numbers that are not divisible by two. These include 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, and so on. 2 does not divide neatly into any of these numbers. There will always be a remainder left over. Even numbers, on the other hand, are defined as the whole numbers that are divisible by 2. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on. Zero? Yes. Zero is included because any number ending in zero is divisible by two. Numbers like 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50 all end in zero, so they are divisible by two. In fact, any number that ends in zero, two, four, six, or eight is divisible by two, no matter how big the number is. All you need to know is the last number. If the last number is divisible by two, then you know two goes into the entire number. All right. Moving on to the next definition on our list, we have integers. Integers are all the whole numbers and all their opposites. This means all the positive numbers and all the negative numbers. The opposite of one is negative one. The opposite of two is negative two, and so on. All the whole numbers greater than zero are positive integers. And all the whole numbers less than zero are negative integers. Zero? Yes. Zero is neither negative nor positive, but it is still an integer. Next on our list are rational numbers. Rational numbers are any numbers that can be written as a ratio. This means we can write it in the form a over B. A can be any number, and B can be any number. They include negative numbers, repeating decimals, and terminating decimals. These can all be written as a ratio of one number over another number. Last on our list are irrational numbers. Irrational numbers are numbers that cannot be written in the form of a ratio A over B. Irrational numbers include some square roots, like the square root of 2, the square root of 3, 10 billion digits, and the square root of 99. Other irrational numbers are pi, Euler's number, and the golden ratio. In all of these cases, the numbers do not terminate. They go on forever and ever. This makes it impossible to write them as a ratio. A over B. So we call them irrational. Irrational. Now I get it. Let's review the math terms we learned. There were natural numbers or counting numbers, whole numbers, odd numbers, even numbers, integers, 
negative integers, rational numbers, and irrational numbers. Math is an awesome subject to study. It can open doors of opportunity and can take you on new and exciting adventures where you can reach for the stars and follow your dreams.